Are you listening? Ricky J. Sports. What is going on, my fellow YouTubers? This is Ricky J, baby, from Ricky J Sports. I hope everybody's doing well, man. I hope everybody's staying nice and warm here in southern Ontario, man. We're in a major snowstorm. Things are crazy, up to 30 centimeters of snow, but um, we're nice and dry inside until I got to go walk the dog. But anyway, let's get back on track and talk about why I'm showing you guys this fight. So I faced off against a kneeing, elbowing, tough guy. And nothing makes my blood boil more than the old spammeroni guys out there. Guys that just love to spam the knees and the elbows. I made a video in the past about guys that spam knees. Well, let me tell you, there's the knee spammer 2.0. And it's the guy that loves to spam the knees and complement that with spamming the elbows. So what he does is... He'll get you into that knee range where he's able to knee you. And once he thinks that you're thinking he's going to knee you, he throws an elbow at you. And it's really frustrating and it's hard to deal with. And I want to show you guys what happened here. And look at this. He doesn't even touch gloves. <laughs> this tough guy starts throwing crazy haymakers. And I'm using Jacare. And right away, I try to go for that takedown. And that's one thing to do. You know, that's a good thing to do, but I felt like I rushed it, let's be honest here. So I'm trying to get in there and just take this guy to the mat. And when you're facing a Costa character, these guys have heavy hands. So he doesn't start to spam the knees till later on in this round. So here we go, there it is. There's the first one. That's not really a spam. He gets it right in there, but then watch what happens, man. This guy just starts to unload on me. And what he's trying to do is he's trying to get into that knee range, man. He really is. He's trying to get in there. And there's another one. And I'm feeling, see that? I'm feeling the pressure. But one way to kind of stifle those knees is, you know, get that jab out there. But you got to be careful. And it, it's just it's tough to deal with this pressuring style with the knees and the elbows. Oh. And the one thing I really like doing is I, I love to go to the body and those knees will get you, man. And then with the knees and the elbows, he loves to go for the old tie action. So he takes me down here. And in my head, I'm like, you know what? That's okay. If you want to try to deal with me on the bat, on the mat, not the bat, I'm going to try to outdo you. And he does a nice job on reversing me as I try to go for the triangle. But I was saying to myself, you know what, I gotta deliver my A game to get this elbow knee spamming guy out of there, man, and show him that, you know what, even though you're amazing at doing this crazy style, man, I'm gonna try to tap you out on the mat. But I'm not trying to be, you know, I'm not trying to rush things. So he understands that, you know, I'm a jujitsu player, and he stands up. And this is when, see that? This is when things get dicey. This is when the game's not enjoyable. I'm going to be honest here. This is when the game's not fun. When you're dealing with a guy that's zombieing it up, pushing forward, and getting ready for the opportunity to throw those knees. Oh, but I rock him, man. I give him a nice rock. And I'm like, you know what? I'm still standing here, brother. I'm still standing here with your... <laughs> he kind of basically does a bit of everything. Knee, elbow, overhand, tie clinch. He's going for it all. And I don't mind that when guys want to clinch up. No problem. I don't mind that. Oh, can't throw too many of those. But when they do that elbow, knee, combo, spam action, that's when, like I said, it just totally ruins the game. So in that first round, even though... He was landing some of those shots. Man, that was definitely my round. But like I said, man, my blood was boiling, brother. I was angry as angry can be. Saying to myself, I worked all day. I got I to gotta come home to this, to this style. And I'm saying to myself, you know what? You just got to do what you did in that round. 
and not fall into this guy's pressuring style. So he's going with the knee. Knee doesn't land. But see that? After the knee doesn't land, he goes for that short elbow. And I'm trying to keep my stamina high, trying to block, trying to move. I don't want to stand still against a guy like this. And again, you don't want to overthrow your combos too. Keep your combos nice and tight. And then I managed to get him to the ground. I'm saying, big boy, let's see what you got. I deny that. But again, I didn't go for the arm bar because he did reverse my triangle attempt in that first round, if you guys remember that. So right here, I'm just waiting for him. I deny that. Look at that, denying Dingo. I do go for it. And let's see, am I going to get it? Am I going to get it, brother? Oh, one more gate. Oh, he escapes. And he's probably going to abort mission here. He does abort mission, doesn't want to deal with me. And here we go, back to the old circus show here. And there he goes with the double knee action. And right here, I'm feeling very uncomfortable just because I felt like I tasted a bit of victory. And then now I got to continue and fight this pressuring knee elbow spamming monster here. Look at this. And that drains you out, man. It really does. And then it's crazy how he adds the tie clench with all of that madness. But right now in my head, I'm like, you know what? So if I can catch something, I'm going to take him right down and try to work my ground game. And he's still pressure. Yeah, baby. Oh, and how come EA Sports? You guys got to fix that. That should have been a no-doubter takedown. But when the camera spins like that, <laughs> the guys just don't seem to understand how to complete takedowns. So this guy makes the crazy mistake. He Conor McGregor'd himself. Remember McGregor Diaz? And decides to shoot for a takedown. After noticing that the spamming knee elbow combo is not going to work. And look at Jacare. Jacare is doing his thing. <laughs> the nice Peruvian necktie. And it's over. It is over. The spammer taps. And that's all she wrote. And there you go, people. Hopefully you enjoyed this battle. What do you do when to, um, to beat the knee elbow spammer? In my opinion the keys if you're gonna remember anything after this video man make sure you're moving make sure you're blocking make sure your combos are short don't get into a firefight what I mean by that is if after he throws his strikes don't go and throw some long at long you know combos man you gotta keep it PG and do not forget that if you can catch those knees take them down and work your ground game. that's why I tell everybody anybody you pick make sure that he's a decent or really good wrestler because then you could change the avenue of the fight if you're using a guy like a McGregor even a Wonderboy Thompson it's really tough to get the fight to the mat unless you're a super super elite player so always use guys like in my opinion Jacare you know <laughs> Dominic Cruz you know uh, who else you could say GSP but his head health is not the best people like that man people like that Rose Namajunas people that you can really get to the mat and do some good damage if you know what I mean but anyway people let me know your thoughts on this video oh so satisfying to get the W and I'll catch you in the next one this is Rick AJ baby from Rick AJ Sports and you are awesome